Welcome back to the media chat room where the celebrity headlines are talking. And right now who's speaking loud and clear are the barbs in the hive. Ever since these disc records drops, they ain't gone nowhere. They living by the all for one and one for all model. And at first it was the barbs who was out there looking like they was uncontrollable. They was calling Erica by phone, playing on it, thinking they was about to find Tyrone. Then they started saying that they was gonna go to the grave site where Megan Mine was buried in and do some wild things. But now the hide is out here crawling into people's DMs saying that they about to offer them and their kids. Yup, that's exactly what they did to my on these slaughter. But y'all know she wasn't about to go for the okay. So she got online and was going off, off, off. And you know we got the video to show you. And we gonna also take a look into some of these celebrities who've been taking sides. So everybody gonna know exactly what some of their faves say. Because it is just a mess. Now you already know we definitely gonna get into it. But first, I'm gonna need you to like and share this video with everyone that you know. Then subscribe to the channel so that you can become an official chatty patty lover. And I promise you're gonna love it here. And last but not least, make sure that you turn on your notification bell so that you know when we drop our next video or go live. Now let's step into World War 3 so we can let you know what's going on. Now I ended up going live on Monday and letting y'all know I am not a barb or a hottie. I'm just here to report in the streets what the barbs and hotties are doing. So any information provided, it is not me taking sides. Because at this point, they both have gone too far if you ask me. But nonetheless, in that same live, we ended up telling y'all some of Monique's thoughts that she shared on Twitter when it came to Megan's diss record. Specifically, she thought it was very distasteful for Megan to include Meg's law in that diss record because of the hurt and trauma that was surrounded by the victim and the victim's family as it related to being all from a predator. So specifically, Meg said, y'all not mad at me, y'all mad at Megan's law. Referring to the fact that Nicki Minaj's husband is an ex-offender and therefore he has to expose himself to the world and let people know that he's an ex-offender. So Monique thought that that was tacky and cheap shot and therefore she felt as though the family should sue Meg for emotional damages that's being caused from this record because once that song was released through Google searches Megan's law started to trend because people had to research what the law was in order for them to know who the diss applied so to. So Monique said what she said and I guess Megan's parents heard him. Because the next day, TMZ got in touch with Megan's dad, Richard Kanker. And he did state that he was going to look into legal actions to see if anything could be done. So that made the hottest real hot. And they started to get into Monique's inbox and started to threaten her and her family. And it made her pretty upset. I don't give a I'm not on Billboard. I'm not at the Grammys. I don't got a record with this one. I got to keep it cute with this one. I don't care. I'm a regular fucking nobody according to y'all. So treat me as such. Don't get in my DMs when I when I voice my opinions like y'all voice yours. Keep that same energy. Go back in them posts and y'all get busy, bitch. Y'all got about a, a couple hundred thousand motherfuckers to DM. That's what y'all need to spend y'all night doing. While I get, I took a two hour nap and woke up to mayhem. Now while I get back to moving boxes and loading a U-Haul, y'all need to get on this here motherfucking internet and y'all need to start sliding in everybody's DMs and said the same shit I said and threatened to rip them and kill their kids too. See how that works out for you. See how that works out for you. Because I'll tell you what, the first month I run into that said that's my DMs, I'll blow you back myself. I will blow you back myself. Now take that and go tell law enforcement. Or should I go outside and get, and get the guys? They're off duty cops. I'm sure they're watching this right the fuck down. Or should I go get my grandpa, the sergeant? Maybe I should go down to the 60s and go get my cousins. We could go either which way you want to go. That's on you. Show up here and I'll let the law deal with you. Catch me in the street though. And it's a different story and I'm coming a whole different way. So ask about me, bitch. And ask the right motherfucker about me, bitch. And to all you bitches that I saw in the comments, all of a sudden we got imaginary beef, shut your fucking dusty old fuck ass up. Yeah, the streets told me about what you said. You stupid cunt. And I got some bitch for you too. Yeah. And we waiting to catch you too. Yeah, and I'm going to give you one chance and one chance only to fucking square up and go, I don't believe in sneaking, I don't believe in jumping, I got one shot, one shot. And if you don't drag me, it'll be the worst mistake of your life. That's like pulling a piece on me and not pulling the trigger. And the craziest part is it actually 
know me that was in the... That is what blew my mind more than the rest of you dummies. I expect y'all to be stupid. Y'all don't read to understand. Y'all don't read to comprehend. Y'all read to beef with a mother... So, of course, there's some people in the comments saying that she sounds crazy. She's yelling and screaming, saying she's doing too much. But you really have to understand. At this point, nobody knows if they're safe. And the mental capacity of some of these fanatics can seem to be a little questionable. You don't know if they're actually smart enough to leave things alone, if they're actually crazy enough to carry out what they're saying. So she have to match their energy to tell them, beware. Again, because they're not only threatening her, but they're threatening her kids as well. And at this point, she's in protective mode. And honestly, when she first gave her remark about Megan speaking about the Megan's law. It came from the place of her being a mother and empathizing on what the family could be going through at this very moment because social media is so cruel. And she's a person that's in the media so she actually knows firsthand how this could be. And it's all happening just for clicks and giggles. And it still goes back to my original question. Do these artists have a social responsibility to at this point come together and tell their fans to stand back? This is all for entertainment and you should not be harming or threatening to harm another person. Because at the end of the day these two people are getting paid off of everything that's happening while the others are putting themselves in harm's way and i know even if they make the announcement people are going to still do what they want to do however we're just talking about overall in general them being responsible because a lot of these groups are like cults and they'll actually listen to what the leader have to say now although we know that this is entertainment and it's for mature audiences only some celebrities are still letting y'all know who they rocking with throughout this and week. who knows it could be based off a personal relationship or them actually being fans themselves but nonetheless we're about to go through all of them now check out these celebrities who are actually team Nikki and have been supporting her throughout this time. Now we have Sexy Red dancing on stage with Bigfoot added to the background. Then we have Ice Spice who posted a picture of Nikki and Future. And then of course there's Akbar who tweeted and told Megan that she need to try again. And then we have JT from the City World and she liked the Nikki tweet of the visual for Bigfoot. Now here's some celebrities who showing love to Meg. Now we had Ruby Rose going off on Nikki Minaj after she went on a rant about Meg the Stallion. So we gonna group her up with Team Meg. And we have Juicy J reposting her video saying let's go and we have Lotto supporting her by saying she's so proud of her of course Chris Jenner because she was mentioned in the song and then Rock Nation who's telling everybody to download and get them streams up now, let's get into some of this Texan love of course there's Bum B who's saying Texas period so he rapping for Texans and Houstonians and then we have Miss Erica Badu she did a repost on Megan and this is what caused the barbs to start playing on her phone and last but not least y'all we have the San Antonio Zoo and they trying to jump in on that algorithm and they tweeted Meg saying let us know if you want us to name a roach, rat, or lettuce after someone you're beefing and with. And have it eaten by an animal at the zoo on Valentine's Day. Then they're going to add Nikki and hashtag don't mess with Texas. Now we know whoever that social media manager is, they definitely are hiding. So I guess all the lions, tigers, and bears need to go ahead and stand up too. Because the San Antonio Zoo had just put y'all in the mix. Now Chatty Patty, it's time to hop in those comments. Let me know what you think about all this that's going on. Do you think that the barbs and the hotties are just going too far? Do y'all think that they know that this is just entertainment and although there may have been some personal layers that got wrapped into it it wasn't about to be that serious what it was actually about to be duking it out do y'all think it's gotten too far to where it's at the point of no return and these alliances that's being formed are going to actually be potentially harmful for the hip-hop community and what do you think about Monique's rant does she have every right to feel how she feel and react how she react because at the end of the day these people are threatening her and her family hop in the comments and let me know all your thoughts and before you go make sure that you like and share this video with everyone that you know also hit the subscribe button so that you can become an official chatty patty lover and i promise you're gonna love it and last but not least turn on your notification bell so that you know when we drop our next video or go live now you already know how i do it first thing first i'm headed straight to the comments to see what you had to say then it's back to getting into the headlines so that i can bring you all another video so that's gonna be all for now and until next time bye bye